today's project diary, I will show you five quick tips on how to use eggshells in the garden. Hi guys and welcome to Project Diaries. Today's video I want to continue the series of fertilizers and feeds. If you haven't seen lots of those videos already, you can see the playlist on the screen now. So go and check those out later on. So today's video is going to be about eggshells. Now they are really, really good in the garden. And thankfully due to a vegetarian cafe that's opened up next to me recently, they're now saving the eggshells for me because I don't actually have these in my diet at the moment. And they are incredible. I have covered this in another video uh, from my soil supplements, so you can check that out as well. But today I'm gonna to give you the breakdown, no pun intended, on how eggshells could be really beneficial in the garden. So let's have a close up and see how we can do it. I'm just gonna drop a quick disclaimer here. I wouldn't recommend watching the rest of this video if you're a vegan gardener. This video is about using eggshells only, the waste product of eggs. I'm not suggesting anyone adding eggs to their diet. As I've already said, I don't eat these myself. But if you do buy and consume eggs, I will give you some further information later on in the video. Now, as usual, I'm working off grid, so I'm using a pestle and mortar today, but you can use a blender or a coffee grinder. Also, always make sure that you've washed your eggshells thoroughly. You can either put them in an oven for a few minutes or microwave them for a few seconds. This kills off any bacteria like Simonella. Now, eggshells have many uses in the garden and I'll try and list as many as I can in this video today. Now, the reason why they're such a good resource in the garden is because they are a high form of calcium. Around 40% is calcium carbonate. There's also small traces of nitrogen and magnesium. There's 27 elements in total, so eggshells are fantastic to use as a soil supplement or add in as a powder to fertilizer. Now the elements in eggshells aren't plant available straight away, which means the plant won't absorb them directly. But using these methods today will help them break down a lot quicker so your plants can absorb the calcium a lot faster. There is a way of making this calcium available straight away using vinegar, but I'll do that in another video. So if you'd like to see that, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. My first tip is don't buy eggs in plastic cartons. Not only would this help cut down on single use plastics, if you buy the cardboard ones, you can add them to your compost heap for an incredible source of carbon. Check out this link if you'd like to learn more about making compost at home really fast. Another great tip is starting seedlings off in eggshells straight away. Then you can plant them straight in the ground without transplanting from any pots. You can also put them back in the carton to keep them sturdy. Now if your courgettes, zucchinis, peppers or tomatoes look a bit like this, this is called blossom end rot, meaning your plant has a calcium deficiency. So using a tablespoon of crushed up eggshells in the planting hole before transplanting your plant will really help with this. I have done a video on this in the past, so check out the link on the screen. If not, I'll put all these links in the description box below. Now there's a lot of fake and really unhelpful information on the internet about this next step, and that's using them to deter slugs. Now a lot of people don't spread them thickly enough and they just throw them around in big chunks like this. This isn't going to deter anything and the slugs and snails will just move around them. What you need to do is grind them down into smaller fragments and lay them a lot thicker. Using this method will properly deter slugs and snails because it will make the path feel like glass on their delicate bodies. This is a much more humane way of controlling these pests other than using slug and snail pellets. Check out the link on the screen now to see why I disagree 100% in using slug pellets. If your intention is not to harm the slugs, I definitely recommend using the eggshell method, but you will need an incredible amount for it to be successful. Even then, it may not put off the larger slugs and snails. One of the most successful techniques that I've used in the past is making slug traps. Check out the video link on the screen now if you'd like to know how to make these. Now, I did use leftover beer in this video, but if you're underage or don't drink due to religious reasons, you can use a teaspoon of yeast. That's a perfectly good beer replacement for these traps. Now, using this coarse grind is perfectly good for any kind of fertilizer, but if you grind it down to an even finer powder, you can actually use it in a worm composting bin. Worms eat the really finely crushed up eggshells and swallow them into their gizzards. This helps them digest even better. You can also use old coffee grounds. This works just as well. Both of these resources help promote a really healthy worm community. Also on a side note, talking of health, even humans can consume the same eggshell powder to help with calcium and vitamin D3. This can help strengthen bones and helps people with osteoporosis even better than other supplements. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed today's video on how to use eggshells in the garden. I will be doing another series of videos on how to apply them and quantities and things like that. I'll also be doing a potting mix video, so don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button for all of my future notifications. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Good luck growing this year, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. If you'd like to keep up to date on all of my future releases, click the subscribe button here. Here are some links to some of my other videos. 
and if you tried this or any other project I'd love to see your progress so please join my Facebook gardening group where thousands of people are sharing photos and ideas daily. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.